There's probably no crypto project that people have anticipated as much as they have anticipated Sherbarium. After a number of false starts, Sherbarium has finally been launched. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at all that has come with the launch of Sherbarium. Was it all that we hoped it would be? Keep watching this video to find out. So, Sherbarium has finally launched. Unfortunately, ship's price movement has not gone according to plan. One of the reasons Sherbarium was so highly anticipated is because ship holders, and probably the entire crypto community, expected the platform to somehow boost the price of SHIB. However, in the first few hours after the launch, Sherbarium has failed on that count. Not only did the price of SHIB not surge, it actually dropped. Why, though? Well, just hours after the Sherbarium network launched, reports started circulating about transactional stalling on the network. The issue was first spotted by Biasin, a blockchain security audit company, and they immediately took to Twitter to alert people. They also advised that users temporarily stop using the platform, probably until the dev team could figure things out and get things working again. According to Crypto Polytan, excitement turned to confusion for many SHIB enthusiasts when reports emerged of transactional stalling on the Sherbarium network, just hours after its live debut. With a whopping 954 Ether ETH, and a significant portion of BONE tokens, Shibarium's governance token held up, alarm bells started ringing. And when attempts to bridge tokens to the much-anticipated Shibarium network proved futile, a cloud of uncertainty began to form. What's more, the average block time registered was 5 minutes, which is way too long for any Layer 2 solution. Compare that to PuppyNet's completion rate that was just a couple of seconds per block and you can begin to understand how much of an issue this block time completion was. Finding that out only served to highlight Shibarium's technical issues. And all of these was happening just a couple of minutes after it was launched. As if things couldn't get any worse, ShibArmy found themselves unable to have their confusion cleared up. Some people who tried to ask questions on the Shiba Inu Discord channel found that they had been barred. So, where people might have been mildly concerned before, being unable to get any answers must have made them downright scared. Again, while you think things couldn't get any worse, they actually did. SHIB is not the only one that suffered from the poor launch of Sherbarium. The other Shiba Inu tokens suffered as well, in fact, they performed even worse than SHIB. SHIB fell by 10%, which is quite sad, but Bone crashed by a whopping 20% and Leash by about 25%. Aside from Shiba Inu, Bad Idea AI, the Shiba Inu partner that was instrumental in the launch of Sherbarium, performed even worse. It crashed by about 40% on the same day that Sherbarium was launched. So, things seem really bad right now and many Shiba Inu holders are worried about what this means for the ecosystem and their own investments. However, experts have mentioned that the situation isn't exactly as damning as we might think it is. Apparently, bridging tools like Sherbarium are often the most vulnerable part of a cryptocurrency setup. This situation just seems worse because of how highly anticipated Sherbarium was. What's more, while Shiba Inu community members found it difficult to reach out to dev members when the whole situation started to unfold, Shitoshi has broken the silence and addressed the community. He basically informed the community and anyone who already has assets in Sherbarium that there is no issue with the Sherbarium platform and all the assets in the platform are safe. Also, according to him, our technical difficulty is not an issue of Sherbarium, but instead, from the massive influx of transactions and users that happened at the same time when we announced that Sherbarium is live. Now, shortly after the issue with Sherbarium was detected, a screenshot started circulating of a text that Shitoshi sent. In the text, he apparently mentioned that the assets, which are worth about $1.7 million, are stuck and irretrievable. So, people are concerned that he was not being truthful with his address. However, Sherbarium was actually doing well before the glitch happened. So, at the very least, the part of his address where he mentioned that the problem was with the massive influx of interactions and users could be the truth. Shitoshi posted analytics from Alchemy that shows that Sherbarium had managed to exceed 160 million compute units within just 30 minutes of being launched. Meanwhile, Sherbarium was allocated 400 million compute units per month. 
Bitcoinist writes that for context, compute units refer to the computational resources required to execute smart contracts or perform other tasks on the blockchain. According to the Shiba Inu developer, if Sherbarium kept moving at that rate, it could achieve billions of compute units daily, equating the same performance with the most active layer 2 solutions currently operating. However, because Sherbarium did not meet people's expectations for its launch, it might be difficult for people to process all of this right now. But Shitoshi has appealed for more time to scale up Sherbarium and has also pleaded with the community to ignore all the FUD. If you found this really valuable, please drop a comment and share this video with friends. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, thus helping me to keep increasing the quality of the videos. Anyway, even in the midst of this glitch, there has been some good news. For one, experts actually expect the price of SHIB to bounce back in a big way soon, even with the glitch. They seem to believe that SHIB is still on track to enter a bullish run. It just needs to successfully breach the long-term triangle's resistance, which would basically catapult its price by up to 50%. So, this might not be the time to let go of your SHIB tokens. But this is not financial advice. What's more, while the price of SHIB is obviously currently in the red, its daily active user count has continued to increase. In fact, it increased by close to 40% on the same day that Sherbarium was launched. This is a sign that while people are disheartened by what could be classified as a launch fail, they are still willing to take a chance on the token and trade. Who knows? This might have had something to do with Shitoshi's address because experts have mentioned that Shitoshi's action in resolving the issue could affect market sentiments. That said, while analysts still have generally positive sentiments for the price of SHIB, they actually seem to believe that things could get even worse before they get better. SHIB has already added the zero that it dropped just a couple of days back, but analysts believe that the price of the token could fall some more, especially if it takes the dev team a long time to resolve the issue with Sherbarium. As I mentioned earlier, Shiba Inu holders were advised to refrain from trading on the Sherbarium platform till things get fixed. With close to $2 million worth of cryptocurrencies probably stuck on Sherbarium right now, it's definitely a good idea to not add any more tokens to the mix till we can guarantee that the platform would perform as it should for sure. Unfortunately, the longer we go without Sherbarium being fully functional, or at least a sign that things could get better, the worse it might be for the Shiba Inu ecosystem. That said, the fact that Shitoshi has addressed the community and explained what could be the reason for the problem might be that the dev team is on top of the issue. And it's possible that experts like Michael Van de Poppy, who have predicted a bullish run for SHIB have taken that into consideration. Hopefully, we can put all of this behind us soon and get to the bullish SHIB that we have all been waiting for. Having heard all that has been said, though, what is your take? Do you think Sherbarium would bounce back and send the price of SHIB skyrocketing like we were all expecting? Or do you think this is the end of Shiba Inu as we know it? Consider sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. With that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible, let's get this news out there.